Ladies and gentlemen, the graduation ceremony will begin shortly. Please switch off your handphones or put them on silent mode if you have not done so. We have arranged for official photographers to take photos of all graduates receiving their diplomas. Please do not come to the front to take photographs during the ceremony. Graduates, please ensure that you have your admission ticket and identity card with you before joining the queue to go upstage. You will be issued with a card logon ID and password as you leave the stage. Please keep the card as you will need it to place your order for photos. Your scroll box will be given to you backstage before you proceed on stage to have your photo taken. Lastly, graduates, graduation is a formal occasion. Please show respect for our guests and fellow graduates in your behaviour. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise.
Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. We welcome you to the 63rd graduation ceremony of the Singapore Polytechnic. At this 13th edition, we will be presenting diplomas and other awards to graduates from School of Architecture and the Built Environment. May I now invite our Principal and Chief Executive Officer, Mr. So Waiwa, to deliver the graduation address. Mr. So, please. Architect Mr. Rudy Taslim, the Managing Director of Genesis Architects. Distinguished guests, parents and family members, colleagues, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, very good morning. Welcome to Singapore Polytechnic's 63rd graduation ceremony. We were founded in 1954 and we had our first graduation ceremony, that was in 1961. And then in the year 2000, we graduated our 100,000 graduates. And by the end of this week's graduation ceremony, we would have, we would have crossed the 230,000 mark. We're the only poly that can make this claim, and I dare say not many other universities in Singapore can do so. I congratulate all the 5,345 graduates graduating this year. And in particular, the 277 of you seated this morning receiving your certificates. You have achieved a remarkable milestone, and particularly so because of the very trying circumstance the last three years with the COVID pandemic. You ought to be all the more proud of yourself for doing so under such circumstances. Now, having been refined through the testing, all of you can be proud and honoured to join the 230,000 odd SP alumni body. Like you, they have entered the gates of SP and gone through our rigorous yet caring education. And then they had gone on to help build Singapore over the last six decades. I dare say among the parents and families here are many of such illustrious SP alumni. I hope that all you graduates today will draw inspiration from our, from our outstanding alumni and continue this SP tradition of contributing to Singapore's development as a country, as a strong economy, and as a caring society. As an alumni of SP, you're now part of this network and you can enjoy a range of benefits and privileges. You can connect with your fellow alumni over networking sessions. You can leverage on them, on them for job opportunities and build partnerships. Also, our SP Education and Career Guidance Team will be available to you both now and even in the years to come for you to help discover your strength and options for further areas of development. So, do approach our education and career guidance team. Having benefited from the SP experience, I strongly encourage each of you to think about how you can give back to SP. Consider coming back to help out in the CCA clubs or joining the SP Graduates Guild and find out how you can contribute that. To help our learners thrive in this era of constant disruption, SP has transformed ourselves. We are not just a polytechnic for young people, we are polytechnic for all ages. We've committed ourselves to be an institute of continual learning to support all graduates in your lifelong learning journey beyond your graduation. Through our wide-ranging continuing education and training programs, 
we endeavour to help you upgrade and further develop your skills at the different stage of your career. These programmes aim to keep you relevant in the ever-changing industry landscape. They cover your specialist areas, but also they provide you specialisation in emerging areas to help you pivot according to the needs of the industry. All of you should find these programmes helpful as you face a world that is constantly changing, volatile, uncertain, complex and ambiguous, always subjected to technological disruption. So beyond what you receive during your time in SP, all of you really need to constantly learn, unlearn and relearn. In fact, your learning will be lifelong, way beyond your time in SP. And your graduation today is really the beginning of a new long-term relationship with SP. Why? Because SP wants to be your lifelong learning partner in your continual learning journey ahead. So graduates, as I close, let me once again extend my congratulations. And I say to you, not just goodbye, but really see you again on campus. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. So. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest speaker this morning is architect Rudy Taslim, managing director of Genesis Architects. Architect Taslim studied architecture in both Singapore and Australia and graduated top of his cohort at the University of Melbourne in 2008. Currently, he is the founder and managing director of Genesis Architects. Founded in 2013, the practice spans from master planning in architecture to general design consultancy with a diverse portfolio in Singapore and overseas. Architect Taslim also holds ASEAN and APEC registrations, which allows him to practice in multiple regions. Under his leadership, Genesis Architects is not only dedicated to creating a practice that would be excellent in its craft and be commercially successful, but beyond that, one that is committed to pro bono building and community projects in the third world. As part of this effort, Architect Taslim commits time as visiting lecturer at the School of Architecture and the Built Environment, SABE, in Rwanda. It is now my pleasure to invite architect Rudy Taslim to deliver the graduation address. Architect Taslim, please. Thank you for the humbling introduction and the Singapore Polytechnic for the invitation and privilege of addressing the class of 2023. Good morning, Mr. So Waiwa, Principal and CEO of Singapore Polytechnic, teachers, graduates, family and friends. Today marks an important milestone for each one of you graduates sitting here. You have worked incredibly hard survive the all-nighters, running last-minute changes at events for your project clients, overcome the difficult crits, yes, and triumph over many self-doubts along the way. But your day is finally here. You have chosen to stand firm, you have persevered, and you have finished your race well. My sincere congratulations to all graduates for finishing this lap of your professional race. I also extend my heartiest congratulations to your families and friends and loved ones, because for all the pride that our graduates feel, and deservedly so, it was your sacrifice and friendship and unconditional support that made it possible. And not forgetting the lecturers and educators who in journeying with the graduates have sowed many great seeds of knowledge and virtues which I pray will continue to bloom in each one of you. 
SP is a place I'm familiar with. At this campus, I've been an adjunct lecturer, and this institution with its amazing network of educators and students is a very special place for me, and I'm sure for you as well. In preparing this speech, I would like to share not the path to achievement, but three very simple but incredibly powerful principles that I believe will change the trajectory of your careers. As my formal training is in the field of architecture, I would use this as a basis for my personal sharing, but I believe this message would still be relevant across the various disciplines, from interior design, landscape architecture, as well as integrated events and project management. I hope my message will find resonance with you this morning. First, to be bold and courageous. I believe each of you and the training you have received in this institution is sufficiently ro robust in developing the necessary skill set, the grit, and the leadership to excel in many areas of your life. In your future life and career progression, there will be many firsts. And when you find yourselves having got to do something that you have never done before, do not be afraid, but be bold and be courageous. For example, when I was awarded my first project in the Maldives to develop an entire island resort, I suddenly had to be adroit in many things from operational requirements of seaplanes to how we can isolate flight path from the villas to coastal reclamation and settlements and managing an international consultants in different cultures. And the list just goes on. But my constant ability to step out of my comfort zone and step up to assume a leadership in various situations have been integral to how I function as an architect. Boldness is not arrogance, it is the steadfast confidence and posture to always want to do and to give your best. Second, to be curious and adventurous. So I was once lost in the back streets and the narrow canals of Venice but I also can say that it was these unexpected detours that made me discover the loveliest yet mostly forgotten corners of Venice. In my journey as an architect, I've had the privilege of entering high society and sojourning across the world, collaborating in the design of buildings and working with some of the world's most amazing people. But my convictions and faith have also led me to serve the last, the lost and the least in forgotten communities in Africa, from child soldiers and child brides in uh, Congo to the historically marginalized people groups in Rwanda and the widows and orphans in Mozambique. As architect, I love fancy buildings and spaces, but I always remind myself that buildings and spaces are dead. What thrills me the most is to see how this infrastructure positively impacts the people and transform their lives for the better. As you work towards your next milestone, continue to explore and immerse yourself in the endless possibilities that the world and the industry has to offer. But don't ever lose sight of your purpose and your calling. Third and of paramount importance, always be kind and humble. Graduates, you all are the stars of this afternoon's event, this morning's event, and you have the best seats in the house. But your vantage point may not be as clear as mine perhaps clouded by concerns and anxiety about the unknown. Where do I go from here? Which course and which university to enroll into? What sort of firm I'll work in? So on and so forth. But I want to say that the view that where I'm standing is much clearer, for I get to look out at all of you and to see the possibilities that lie ahead and the great potential that you all are and about to capitalize on. In your pursuit of your dreams and aspirations, remember to choose and live by a higher order, that of love, kindness, compassion, and humility. Last year, after the war broke out in the Ukraine, my wife and I responded to the dire needs of the people there, and since then we have made four trips into liberated villages and the front lines to render assistance, architectural and otherwise, to the elderly, to the differently abled people, the orphaned children and single mothers with crisis pregnancy. 
For me, this has brought an immense sense of fulfillment and purpose. In my little space, in my little sphere of influence, I'm actively redefining that. And I encourage that as you start and continue to do the same in your space and your sphere of influence, together to build a momentum of good for our collective future. Congratulations once again, class of 2023. Uh, all of us here are expecting great things from you. Thank you. Thank you, Architect Taslim. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin the presentation of diplomas to the graduates. This morning, graduates from School of Architecture and the Built Environment will receive diplomas and other awards. May I now call upon the Senior Director of Built Environment and Maritime and Director of the School of Architecture and the Built Environment, Dr. Faris Akbar Hajamaidin, to present the diplomas. Dr. Faris, please. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates for the Diploma in Architecture. Barboso Daniel Gritney Reyes. <laughs> Chen Tzu Ming Max. <laughs> Cheng Tsai Yun. Lee Wen Xuan Kara <laughs> Muhammad Iskandar Arifin bin Afan <laughs> Afik bin Faisal <laughs> Alea Cassandra Camacho de la Paz Amira Hana Binti Nur Azhar. Amoris Joma Rapisura. Anika Taslim. Banya. Betty Asher Tan Carino Catherine Suratos Chen Tsi Chiu Wun Kai Shalin Chong Yi Ling Chua Yi Long James Clarissa Azalia Rafi Fong Li Li Tui Lan Yi Daniel Michael O'Connell De La Cruz R. Kayla Espinosa Dina Kaisara Binti Zuhairu Elise Fu Thierry
Emmanuel Lim Jun Hong. Esther Lim Ying Ying. Fung Jing Xian. Gabriel Ang Rei Heng. Garcia Danella May Dafon. Hong Yuan Chao. Huang Shao Xuan. Janice Yap Ying Sin. Kimberly Rose Balutkopo Bristol. Ko Lee Jun Ray. Ko Wei Ting. Kun Chi Wei. Li Xiu Shun. Li Yao Yu. Li Chun Yan Lucas. Lim Chin Tong Quinton. Lim Ray Shuen. Ling Yu Zeng. Liu Hui Shuen. Lo An Li Debra. Masayu Nor Farhana Binti Masagos Fai. Maximilian Remus Chua Ray Si. Nyo Hong Kai. Ng Kai Lin Yunis. Nor Hafiz bin Muhammad Shaharuddin. Nor Sabrina binti Hamdan. Nor Hafiza binti Jaya. Un E Neng. Po Sun Cheng Elijah. Punzalan Gail Francine Gonzaga. Rala Johan David Arsila. Riego Luis Gabriel Villanueva. Sebastian Yong Se Hao. C. Wei Tia Leonard. Shaleen Ng Yu Ting. Shania Tan Yi Lin. C. 
Xiao Jia Yong. Siti Norzawana Binti Jusni. Su Wei Ling. C. Patria Gojar. Tan Li Wei Ella. Tan Sin Yi Kaslin. Tanukan Steffi Baguiao. Ting Yen Lin. Torno Gaia Roy Stanella Matua. Valerie Wong Kai Ling. Viernes Alexandra Michaela Abad. Wang Jia Tian Jelest. Wang Kang Tie Brian. Wang Xue. Wang Xin Ping. Yap Shun Shun. Yo Kai Shun. Yo Swat Ting Hillary. Yip Chun Wai Brandon. Yusuf Hamdani bin Osmani. Zachary Sik. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates from the Diploma in Integrated Events and Project Management. Jasmine Lim Tia Hui. Ng <laughs> Lei Ying Lin. <laughs> Kwek Lei Teng. Rachel Tan Wee Yee. Wong Yin Ling Jovin. Acacia Lau Hui Sin. Ang Teng Chuan Jonathan. Angel Tso An Ting. Arfa Hazira Binti Ahmed. Ashley Ong Ying Shen. Brian Ong Ren Yi. Celestine Quick. Charlene Teo Tia Lin.
Charlene Lee C. Ling. Shamin Lo Yen Si. Chia Zen Yuan Bernard. Chi Yi Man. Chen Yu Ling. Chiu Ching Ru Che Tian Sun Jai Chin Su Yin Chloe Li Kang Yu Cheng Chu Ning Chua Shu Hui Daryl Joseph Yeo Ernest Ng Wei Lun Farina Hassin Binti Abdul Aziz. Fong Shu Pei. Go Cheng Hao. Go Xin Yi. Gwyn Ang Yu Sin Ying Yin Mon Isabel Ang Wei Lin Jerome Ao Jolene Lee Tsen Ying Jonathan Lau Jun Sien Ko Han Chu Ko Tia Min Ko T. Ern Kellen Lai Xuan Yi Lao Lok Tong Valerie Li Tia Chi Bernice Liung Chi Lui Liang Xiao Ling Liu Tie Yi Lim Hui Min Kezia Lim Chien Yu Lim Xiao Xuan Janice Lim Ying Hui
Lo Ying Yi Maisel. Lo Kuan Yao Seraphine. Lam Ti Kang. Lynette Lim. Muhammad Hazik bin Roslan. Nadra Diana Binti Osman. Nadia Amira Binti Muhammad Imran. Neo Ryan. Neo Sin Tie. Ng Jing Ting Shannon. Ng Chun Tie Keith. Nor Safia Binti Jemaim. Nor Shalin Erlina Binti Muhammad Irfan. Ong Ting Ting Trina. Ong Yen Lin. Pao Yi Bun Pei Kiet Lin Salsabila Wahyu Dia Pasha Sarah Nicole Gaspar Sarah Nabila Binti Mohlas. Celine Chua Yik Xuan. Sun Su En. Sean Timothy Pang Yong Pin. Siti Zahara Binti Jais. So Siu Yin Jodi. Sung Hui Jun Germain. Tan Jia Sin Angel. Tan Jing Ying. Tan Yen Ni. Tan Yu Tong Edda. Tio Jing Ting. Tio Kai Sin. Tina Go Shu Ya. Tiong Wei Sin Lucille. Tong Sin Yu. Venus Lim Chi Ting. Yeah! 
汪新义。Zanfia Ko Jianning, Yo Jingyun Jenna, Zhang Shuying, Ladies and Gentlemen. The graduates from the Diploma in Interior Design, Chua Jia Ning Sharika, Wang Zi Yun, Abigail Tan Ti Wen. Beatrice Lo Manri, Celeste Lai Zi Yan, Chiang An Jie, Chiang Fu Cheng Joel. Cho Wei Zi, Chua Xin Jie, Cindy Tan Li Yun, Eric Liang Zhen Hui. Gan Jun Long, Go Jian Che, Go Wei Song Racing, Jaslyn Ng Bun Xin. Jasmine Lim Kaswan, Joseph Lim, Kenyon Sean Lauders Dyer, Lalo Gen Regna Sambile. Lao Li Xin, Li Xue Yan Cheryl, Lim Xin Chuan, Lim Zhao Xuan Justin. Lu Xue Wei, Magdaleno Grace Han Alain Ocampo, Maria Patricia Binti Steve Arifianto, May Miat No Kin. Nor Athira Binti Norden, Nor Saifura Binti Norsai, Pelin Tio Xu Yue, Portillo Cheni Jacinth Kamba. Ruth Grace Gamboa Gomez, yeah! 
Stephanie Tan Ro En. Tan Le Shi. Tan Yi En. Tang Wen Fang. Tang Zhi Wei. Tio Kai Kiet Kiran. To Cheng Yuan. Vienna Go Wei Sin. Wong Siu Yong Yu Jia Lu Zahira Binti Abdul Aziz Zhang Yi Hua Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates from the Diploma in Landscape Architecture. Kang Hui Wen. <laughs> Ahmad Haris bin Alias. <laughs> Annabelle Chan Kai Ting. Bong Shi Hui Jolin Chao Wei Jun Justin Dania Binti Muhammad Khalid Declan Noel Poe Fu Jun Hong Ethan Ju Siu Ping Joseph Dale Lim Kai Lai Tian Lin Li Jia Jia Muhammad Ridwan bin Razali Muhammad Afik bin Muhammad Nazir Muhammad Hairul Fairuz bin Mislam Munifa Dania Binti Kamarudin Nicole Baruela Ayaturai Noor Munira Binti Effendi Nurin Kisina Binti A. Rahman Tang Chi Ying Tan Jia Yi Joey Wang Lu Zaleen Muhammad Zahri
Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the list of graduates from the School of Architecture and the Built Environment. Thank you, Dr. Faris. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we will now present the prizes to our graduates for the excellent academic performance. May I invite architect Rudy Taslim, Managing Director of Genesis Architects, to present the following prizes. Architect Taslim, please. From the Diploma in Architecture, receiving the Board of Architects prizes are Bunak Ramela Joey Dellen. And Emily Ui Lin E. The ADDP Architects Prize, Tan Tzu Xuan. From the Diploma in Integrated Events and Project Management course, receiving the School of Architecture and the Built Environment Prizes are Jaden Fong Yi Sheng. Shina Xiao Shemin. <laughs> and Tan Shu Hui. <laughs> From the Diploma in Interior Design course, the Leaf Space Prize goes to Ng Pei Ying. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now present course medals to our top graduates for their outstanding all-round performance. From the Diploma in Architecture, the Singapore Institute of Architects Silver Medal is awarded to Edmund Wong Wai Hao. The Singapore Institute of Architects Gold Medal is awarded to Janessa Kwan Suhui. From the Diploma in Integrated Events and Project Management, the School of Architecture and the Built Environment Silver Medal is awarded to Lim Siu King. The School of Architecture and the Built Environment Gold Medal is awarded to Phoebe Tok Wan Ching. From the Diploma in Interior, Interior Design, the Andy Fisher Workshop Silver Medal is awarded to Wang Hui Xin. The DP Design Gold Medal is awarded to Tae Yin Chin. <laughs> 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 
From the Diploma in Landscape Architecture, the National Parks Board Silver Medal is awarded to Kalin Chia Sinmei. The National Parks Board Gold Medal is awarded to Victor Chin Tao Hui. That concludes the presentation of course medals. Thank you, Architect Taslim. Ladies and gentlemen, giving the valedictory speech this morning is Janessa Kwan Su Hui, a graduate of the Diploma course in Architecture. May I now call upon Janessa to deliver the farewell address on behalf of the new graduates. Janessa, please. Good morning to our guest speaker, Architect Rudy Taslim, Directing Manager of Genesis Architects, Principal and CEO, Mr. So Waiwa, ladies and gentlemen. Three years ago, we were all sitting at home, staring at our laptops and attending online lessons. That was how all of us started our journey at Singapore Polytechnic. Just like the construction of a building starts with a foundation, our foundation was a unique one with an unprecedented pandemic. And yet, here we are, in the face of uncertainty, we stand proudly here today. I don't know about you, but I'm immensely proud of each and every one of us. We made it. <laughs> Reflecting on my own experience at SP, the best moments weren't about the grades. Just like how little features make a building unique, my best SP moments were made up of all the little experiences with my classmates and lecturers. The mad rush on submission day the sleepless nights completing my models, the intense exchanges on crit day, and of course, the curry rice at food court one. Another highlight was my industrial internship experience. I was fortunate to have the opportunity to intern at DP Architects and be part of a team involved in designing an iconic building in Singapore. This was when we were all living with COVID restrictions. Not only was I new to everyone in the team, I was also completely new to the virtual work setting. It took some time getting used to, but I'm glad to say that I was able to learn so much about collaboration and communication despite the distance. I'm grateful to have the opportunity to, to, to have been part of such a talented and passionate team, and this has really cemented my passion to be an architect one day. Just like walls, columns, and beams come together to form a building, my journey could not have been possible without the people I've met along the way, the opportunities and experiences given to me, and the support I received. I stand here today, humbled and grateful. I think we all can agree that we would not be sitting here today if not for our parents, our lecturers, and our friends. I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to my parents for their unwavering support and encouragement, to my lecturers for pushing me to fulfill my potential, and to my friends for completing this journey with me. Today marks the completion of the buildings I have been, we have been constructing for the past three years and the start of a new project in life. My fellow graduates, as we embark on the next project, let us continue to learn, to grow, and to inspire one another. Let us use our talents to create a better world for ourselves and for those who come after us. We have proven to ourselves and to the world that with hard work and determination, anything is possible. And I am confident that we'll continue to make a positive impact on our world, one design at a time. Congratulations, Class of 2023.
Thank you, Janessa. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduation ceremony is now adjourned. May I invite all to stand. The procession groups will now leave the convention hall. Thank you for your patience. Please wait for the queue from your usher before leaving your designated exit. We have prepared a refreshment snack box for graduates and guests. Do collect it at the exit. Lastly, please ensure that you have all your belongings before you leave the convention hall. Have a pleasant day. Thank you.